Huey Fury versus Andre Rudenko, February the 21st on the Martin Mary Golovkin undercard. I was very surprised to hear that this fight had been announced for several reasons. It's Huey Fury's first 10 rounder. Huey Fury has been very, very inactive. I know he's had some sort of virus, he's been out of the ring. Uh, and let's be honest, I'm not saying Rudenko is a world beater, but this is a massive, massive step up from anyone that Huey Fury has fought before. So for Huey Fury, after that inactivity, to fight his first 10 rounder on such a big stage, I was surprised to hear it would be against a guy like Rudenko. Rudenko's record is very, very good, but it is uh, deceptive. He's got 24 wins with one loss. Of his 24 wins, 16 by KO, came by KO, so he can clearly hit a little bit. However, what I would say is the guys he's been in with, in terms of the guys he's beaten, are pretty woeful. He hasn't really beaten anyone who I would consider a top 100 heavyweight. He's uh, you know, really, really got a very, very padded out record. But nevertheless, he's won 24 times, he's only lost once, knocked out 16 opponents. He's... Big fight came against Lucas Brown in August of last year, and he lost that fight in a 12-round decision. What I would say is he gave Brown a very, very hard fight. He cut Lucas Brown, he hurt Lucas Brown. The judges' scorecards were quite close. One of them had it as close as 1-1-5, 1-1-3 to Lucas Brown. So it was a, a fairly competitive fight, and what he showed in that is that he could go 12 rounds, and that he was durable. And this is against a puncher like Lucas Brown. You know, a massive guy in his late 30s. Against Huey Fury, who's a slightly leaner 20-year-old, possibly not known as a power puncher. We can expect this fight to go the distance. We really can, because Rudenko's got the stamina to go 12, and he's got the durability to go 12 against a puncher like Lucas Brown. So it's hard to see Huey Fury getting him out in 10 rounds. Now, my impression having watched that fight is Rudenko was slightly limited in terms of his skill set. He's a smaller heavyweight, he's six foot tall, and I think there may be scope for Huey Fury just to jab his head off all night and keep him at the end of a jab and win, you know, a wide decision. But we haven't actually seen Huey Fury tested. You know, his hardest fight ahead of this was probably against the likes of Danny Hughes, Dorian Darts. And to see him stepping up in a ten rounder to a fighter with a record of twenty four and one who took Lucas Brown a distance and, you know, was effective at points in that fight, for me was a bit of a surprise. You know, we look at the level of opposition Eddie Chambers has been in with, you look at the opposition that Huey Fury's been in with recently, and you think, Rodenko actually is quite a solid opponent. If Huey Fury won this fight, in my eyes it would propel him to, you know, certainly top 30, top 40 in the division. It'd be a real respectable win to have on the record at 20 years old on a massive undercard like that over 10 rounds. I think it's a good fight. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Uh, it may not be the most entertaining fight on the night, but we should learn some stuff about Huey Fury. We should learn if his stamina's there. We should learn if his punch resistance there. And uh, we should see. Initial instinct would be Huey Fury on points, just because I think Rudenko's limited, but it will certainly be a test of his capabilities. Let me know your thoughts.